What's up, y'all? It's your boy C coming back at you with another episode of C's Retro Garage. Coming to you from the free state of Florida, here in the Magic City. We are in Little Havana. We are going to Versailles. Damn right. January 1st, 1959. The rebels stroll through Main Street of La Habana, the capital city of the island of Cuba and the province of Habana. This bad man, with the assistance of these other bad men, come into town looking to overthrow this other supposed bad man who was working with this other group of bad men to make things on the island better. Thus starting what was then known as the Cuban diaspora that later became the Cuban exile community worldwide. Fast forward to 1971, one of these refugees establishes what would become the most iconic restaurant in the city of Miami, which is Versailles. Just about every single Cuban exile that walked the streets of Miami has walked through this establishment, as well as worldwide. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is ground zero for politics within the state of Florida, as well as within the city of Miami itself. So let's go ahead and enjoy the sights and the sounds of this wonderful establishment as it is brought to you, you by your boy C. So nothing politically in the free state of Florida happens if it doesn't go through this iconic establishment known as Versailles, Cafe Versailles to some Cuban restaurant. World renowned. It's literally a taste of Havana, Unana on my mind when you come here. So as you can see, it's right on 8th Street, warmly known as Calle Ocho. We will go in. I got my kid here meet some friends and we're gonna uh, stuff our faces with some black beans rice pork and step on it oh. thank you oh. as we oh no worries as we uh, say hi thank you you're welcome hold the door for these nice people and here we are now this place is split up into three parts which is the main dining hall which is also used for conventions and uh, other political meetings. And we also have the bakery, which is awesome, as well as the cafe part. So we're meeting some friends here and we have a visit from the Mongols from California. How freaking awesome is that? These guys, you'll see them show up behind me. So this is pretty cool. Right over there, kid. So, there's our table there. We're gonna say hi to these people. Did you do it? No, she didn't do it. So, so we are gonna go ahead and have a seat. There's a false alarm. False alarm. So when you're old. Are you thirsty or are you just playing with? You know how much you were, you were downing when you were older. You appreciate it. Playing with the ice. Alright, good eating. Go down your 
black beans, rice, and pork. Can't beat it. Nosotros, por favor, o quizás ellos necesitan ayuda. Take a look. Right now it's about 4.50 in the afternoon. So you know this place is quiet as shit. There's your window. Check out the babe over there. Doing the news. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, almost got my ass ran over that time. But no big deal. Uh, you can see it's quite a bit of noise. Here's the place, like I said, that's the bakery side. Here's the little cafe side. Get a little bit closer. You can see, look at all these out of state tags. Hmm? That happens because this is the free state of Florida. And uh, that gives you an idea of what's going on in the rest of the country. See, we're not the only people filming around here. Where the fuck else you get a pistachio fucking cannoli? Only in Dade County, baby. I'm right across the street. See that shit? We can go spark an owl afterwards, but um, like I said, this is uh, an iconic place. Nothing through the halls of Tallahassee happens at all, unless it happens here. First, this iconic monument right here on Calle Ocho. Southwest A Street, Little Havana. So, thanks for checking it out. As always, this is your boy C coming to you this time from the Magic City, Miami, Florida, here in Little Havana. Telling you to stay safe, be ye kind one to another. Mm. Peace out.